All right, well, what a story. I can't tell if you're for the occult or against it. You stink of stupidity. Don't be mean. I stink of... How dare you? <sighs> well, you do stink, though. <clears throat> That's fine. Huh? That's fine? Um, anyway. <laughs> I hope your prediction turns out to be true. <laughs> well, at the very least, I won't murder anyone. Yeah. Me either. I mean, I would never. Of course. Me either. Indeed. Nor I. That goes for me too, of course. I would never kill any of my friends. I feel like those words of encouragement were helping us come together as one. After so much sacrifice and hardship, we'd finally become united. But... Well. To be honest, I wish Byakuya and Toko were here for this too. But... But they're so hard to deal with. They only think about themselves. <sighs> yeah, we're better off without them, I say. That was enough to prove. We were united for the time being, but within that bond hid weakness and fragility. Chapter 4, All-Star Apologies. Uh-oh. Something with Hina. Uh-oh. We began our search as soon as we'd finished our breakfast in the dining hall. We had to find out what had opened up and what was waiting for us. Alright, well... We know what's gonna, where it's gonna be. It's gonna be on the fourth floor. So... I mean, at least as, as long as the game's following the same pattern that it's been doing the entire time. So let's head up to the fourth floor. I have no reason to believe what, that it wouldn't follow the same formula at this point. Okay. Oh, no. Alright, second floor. Now we're on the third floor. Aha, fourth floor. Let's see what we got. Now we have access to the fourth floor of Hope's Peak Academy. Maybe this time we'll find some kind of clue. No, this time I have to find it. Okay. So here we have bathrooms. This is the girls' bathroom. So go in it. Fuck it. Check out the new bathroom. See if there's a secret door. No. Nope, they won't let me do anything in here. Okay, there's a data lab to the right. What's this to the... What the fuck? Boy, this floor's weird. All right, let's start from right to left. Data lab. Let's see what this is. No good. The door's locked. I guess I won't be getting in. According to the nameplate, this is called the data center, but what behind the door is a total mystery. Huh. We got new classrooms. Oh, let's here. One day I saw Monokuma in class. La 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 la. Gobble gobble. What the fuck? <sighs> I'm glad this floor opened up at all, but there's like a ton of locked up rooms here. Huh. I wonder how many rooms are locked. <clears throat> Classrooms all seem open. Hello, I'm Monokuma from the school store. I'm very kind. Gather up your coins and come play with me, or I might die of loneliness. <laughs> well, nothing here. Just further down the hallway, past where the blue area was, right? Alright, here's the staircase. So that's closed. What's this? What does it say? Hold on. I can't fucking read it. Cam. Chem room, like chem lab, chemistry? Yeah. Inside the room, the smell of medicine was oppressive. This is the chem lab. I hope inhaling all this stuff doesn't go do permanent damage. Hina and Sakura seem to be lost in a deep, but friendly conversation. I need to find out what's going on with Sakura and the mastermind, but I can't while hey, she's Makoto. with Hina. Huh, you need something? Oh, uh, no, it's nothing. Huh? You sure? Okay, then. Over here. 
It's a remarkably big shelf, and it's stocked with all kinds of medicine. What's wrong? Ah, listen, Makoto, listen. Just take a deep breath, calm down, and listen to me. Okay, Hina, just chill out. Ah. There's all kinds of stuff we didn't have before. Vitamins, minerals, amino acids, creatine. Okay. And what? They even have protein zyme X. What's that? Hey. A high-quality protein drink. It's nothing like that cheap swill in the warehouse. It's connoisseur level. Oh, yeah? <sighs> this is amazing. It's a gold mine. Ah, my prayers have finally been answered. Time to load up some more prayers then. Haha, <laughs> gold mine, huh? Alright, I guess that's it. Let's see what else we got on this floor. How's it that the floors are getting bigger the higher up we're going? It doesn't make any sense. And what is below the floor here? Look at this. Whoa. Is there some kind of mechanical mesh or something? Alright, hold on. I already skipped an area. I skipped this blue area. Let's get to the blue. We've got music room. Just the music room. Okay. Ah! Look at this piano. This is the music room. It's hardly even a classroom. It's more like an actual concert hall. Let's all look at the, uh... Piano. Is this a grand piano? It seems really old. I bet it's worth a lot of money. Of course, without someone around who can play it, it's totally useless. But I got a totally useless Monokuma coin. Hey. You know, you haven't told me what you think yet. What I think? So... About the secret room in the boys' bathroom. Ah! Well, uh, I did find the room, but as soon as I started looking around, I was attacked. What? Attacked by who? Well, they came from behind, and I didn't have any time to react, so I didn't see who it was. And when I came to, the mountains of files and documents were all gone. I'm sorry, I know how important those were. That's fine. It's okay, I already saw what I needed to in there. I... And I half suspected the Mastermind might come after you. What? Because... When I discovered the room, the Mastermind must have seen me on the surveillance camera in the hallway. They must have seen me go into the boys' bathroom and not come out again. Still, I wanted you to go and see it. I wanted to see how the Mastermind would react. Essentially, I wanted to find out if the Mastermind actually knew about the room. It would seem... But to attack you and steal everything in the room? That must mean that there was some unknown clue in there that could reveal the Mastermind's identity. Then, you know I was gonna get attacked? That doesn't matter. You can handle that kind of thing though, right? After all, you're a boy. What does this think a boy is? Fine, I understand. Let me ask you something else. Do you know about the note that was left in there? The note that said you must not leave? Just a second. We shouldn't talk about that. Not here. Kyoko stole a quick glance at the surveillance camera. So... I'm looking into it. I'll find out any... If I find out anything, I'll let you know. Listen to me. Is that okay? She made it sound like she was asking, but it was clear I wouldn't have any say in the matter. So then... So, now's your turn. Let's hear your secret. Huh? <laughs> Did you think I wouldn't notice? You're hiding something. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Yeah. That's... What? What's the matter? If you're worried about the camera, why not just write it down? Oh, um, well... Hey. We're friends, so you should be able to trust me. Isn't that what you said before? You're right that there shouldn't be any secrets between friends, but there's nothing worse than expressing doubt about your friend when you don't have evidence for it. Screw it! Let's tell her. I'm telling her. I haven't found conclusive evidence yet. If I talk about it now, it could just make things worse. Friends shouldn't keep secret. Oh, come on! Tell her anyway! Come on, they won't let me, so it's a fake choice. That's bullshit. Sorry, I can't tell you. Not yet. Correct. So that's your answer. However... Do you think that's fair? You were happy to hear what I had to say, and now you're unwilling to share? I'm sorry, I really am. That's fine. It's fine. Goodbye. Goodbye. Wow, she's pissed. <laughs> With the, those as her parting words, Kyoko left me standing there alone. I think I made her mad. Yeah, I'd say... All right, so that's the music room. And we also have this new area over here to the left. We got the office, and there's more down there. Let's go in the office. Whoa, did you see that? Something fell out of the sky. What was that? This is the office. But of course, there's no kids of any teachers that we'd normally be able to rely on. What is this? Paul, oh, there's a picture on the floor. Oh, no. This picture. 
Look at this! A picture of Hifumi and Celeste, but also Sayaka in the background. What? Celeste, Hifumi, and Sayaka? <clears throat> Smiling faces of three people who are dead. A classroom without metal plates over the windows. It's exactly the same. Yep. It's just like that picture I saw before. There's no way this isn't important somehow. They're smiling the way you'd expect any normal teenager to smile. A normal group of high schoolers living a normal school life. I can't possibly believe that they were able to smile like that in a world of despair like this. So does that mean this picture was taken before they even came to Hope's Peak? Which would mean everyone in the picture knew each other before they got here? Including Sayaka? No, there's no way! Monokuma did it. it, it must be a fake. Whoa! No, you're fake! Monokuma popped out of nowhere and snatched the picture from my hand. A forgery plot? What are you, a middle schooler? You think the moon landing was fake too? Come on! Then, you're saying this picture is real? Hey, if there, um... was, if there was such a thing as the Nobel Truth Prize, I'd take first, second, and fourth place. Too bad! Actually, that's probably not true. I asked you a question. Is this real or is it fake? Oh, Makoto, you're so eager to split things in half, aren't you? Hey! But it's um... no use. It's just no use. If you try to split something that can't be split, you'll end up feeling like you're the one being split. It's true! The picture is real. No more, no less. <laughs> Without another word, Monokuma disappeared. So the picture is real? It's really real? If, if that's true, if that's the case... Oh, I can, I can control it again. <laughs> 